are back with chapter 2 of this basic machine learning course brought to you by Tech Eagle. So today our topic is linear regression model type of supervised learning. Let's recap what we studied in the first video. If you haven't seen the first video yet, visit my YouTube channel and first begin with the first video which is about basics of machine learning which is required for this chapter. So we studied what are the applications of ML, what is machine learning and type of machine learning systems in the last video which was there are mainly two type of machine learning systems supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning but there are also semi supervised and reinforcement learning which we'll study in the course. So beginning with supervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning as the name suggests supervised. So here the uh, machine supervises the data. So the data here is structured data like it is structured you have specific x you have specific y and you have to map relation between x and y that is the dependent and the independent variable so the data is labeled that if this is 2 3 4 9 some values these are labeled that these are x which gives corresponding value 10 12 which gives y so this data is labeled it is not scattered any random value this proper structured value so supervised machine learning are again of two types that is regression and classification in regression there is a continuous data continuous range of data while in classification we classify it into one or zero example of regression if suppose you have data of house price prediction house price prediction where you have a um, number of rooms of specific house, the square feet area of the house and the price of the house. So depending upon number of room and square feet area you determine the price of the house. While in classification suppose uh, you have to classify, you have certain values and you, you, you have to classify whether the, a person will, uh, the person has the breast cancer which is benign or malignant or suppose if uh, specific whether you have certain values and you have to predict whether a team will win or lose so this, is, this is classification you have to classify the example whether it will win that is 1 or whether it will lose that is 0 so it is classified into 0 and 1 you don't have to predict a specific value so this was classification we'll start with regression that is linear regression so this is basically the example of univariate linear regression where we have to predict salary depending upon the year experience of a person. Suppose there is an HR team and it is observed that uh, according to the year experience of the applicant, the HR of that company finalizes the salary of that applicant. Suppose if that applicant has worked for one year before applying here, if he gets 10,000 salary as the basic primitive salary and accordingly. So we have this data, this data that is year expense as a salary and we plot corresponding graph for this data that is uh, for like a year experiences if one then the salary is 10,000 and accordingly this is some scattered graph so what linear regression model does it finds a specific equation along these points so example it plots a linear a line okay and which so that it is closest to all of these scattered points example if the equation of line equation is line is y equals to mx plus c but since we have already taken y for these uh, values for this these values so i will take h or uh, either i will take y hat y hat is equals to theta 0 plus theta 1 x the y hat value depends upon the x value that is the year experience value so x times some parameter theta 1 plus some constant theta 0 so this is the hypothesis the equation given by linear regression model is called hypothesis it is hypothesis function so suppose this is the line so linear uh, hypothesis function we found that y hat is equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 x 
but how do we select this value of theta 0 or theta 1 in this this can be the equation this can be the equation this can be the equation how do we know that which equation out of these three is the best suited which will give the optimize the best results for our model so that for all these uh, uh, values or for all these line the value of theta 0 and theta 1 is different so which pair of theta 0 theta 1 we, we should select so here what do we want to minimize actually which is the best line suppose if this one is the best line because it covers most of the points these blue points and it may not cover this point so we find the error squared value error which is equal to 1 upon 2m summation of y hat minus y whole square y hat is the value we predicted example for this equation I'll select some different color let me for this equation y hat minus y the y hat is the equation of r line so for specific value of x suppose i take a uh, year experience as three years so for that three suppose y hat value is uh, corresponding here something here okay and the given value is this much so what is the distance between this we need to minimize this distance so what we does is y, ha y minus y hat whole square <coughs> summation for all those scattered points by 2a this is the error so we need to minimize the error to optimize the equation for that we define a cost function that is j of theta as i said the error this is the cost function that is the minimum squared value error 1 upon 2m summation of m for all the training example if you have uh, where m denotes training example from 1 to m this may be y hat times xi minus yi whole square when you plot the, the graph for cost function you will find a graph will, which will look like this maybe a curve figure and now we will start at some point and we need to find the minimum value of j the value of theta 0 and theta 1 for which j is minimum the value of theta 0 and theta 1 for which the error is minimum so we start and the minimum error is at this point so how do we find this point we start with some point and we apply gradient descent gradient descent, descent is if you are not understanding this in much properly no, no, not need to worry because when we apply it uh, practically all these things are done by computer just so you just need to know how these things are done so if we start at this point we find the derivative of this point which is like this which is posit positive derivative so if, if derivative is positive so theta j is equals to theta j minus if derivative is positive alpha is always positive which is learning rate alpha is the learning rate so this will the value of theta j will decrease it will decrease and suppose it happens this much and again the um, derivative is positive again it will decrease and at some point it will come here and at here the value of derivative is zero if you are familiar with cal calculus then you will understand the value of derivative is zero so the j value of theta j will stop changing over here and so we'll get the least value least value of j of theta for the value of theta j for which the j of theta is this minimum uh, the error is minimum so we'll find the optimized equation which is best suited for our model so in next video we'll see how to use it practically in python in that case you no, need not worry about it because in that case you not you only have to apply the linear regression to specific model you uh, all those cost function, gradient descent, hypothesis function, all those things are done by the computer in the back end. So you just know, need to know about what the computer is doing.
that is that was univariate linear regression we, where we had only one value and we had to predict the other value here to predict y this multivariate linear regression where we have multiple parameters to predict y it depends upon cgpa suppose x1 education x2 year experience x3 and then we plot the hypothesis function which is h of z x is equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 x plus theta 2 x plus theta 3 x which is an equation till theta 9 x depending upon the number of parameters this is quite complex but again it goes under uh, through those hypothesis function which this one is hypothesis we then find the cost function we minimize the equation to obtain minimize the error to obtain the um, most best equation for the suited for the model will even implement multivariate linear regression in the next video where we'll study about the practical programming so coming up coming up next with continued super uh, supervised uh, linear model so where we'll study programming linear regression in python and again we will begin with the classification model which is another type of linear regression uh, another type of supervised mo learning model so this is what we'll study in next video hope you like this video and there is a test the link is in description give that test and see how much you have learned by this video all the best i am vidant bell and this video on basic machine learning course was brought to you by tech eagle visit tech eagle here is the link the link is also in the description that is techeagle.home.blog like this video share and subscribe to your friends good luck